Okay, I'll be explaining you the solution of anti palindrome. So I looked up uh, Kochev's uh, solutions and I did not find the solution to anti palindrome. So I decided to make one video on this and it's not uh, I couldn't solve it during the contest, uh, but uh, after watching this editorial, I was able to solve. So what I was able to do was, so let me first read you the question. So the question states that a string S of length N is said to be an anti palindrome if any of like from I goes from one to N, any of the letters do not match. That is, if there is a midpoint, then the distance to the left and distance to the right, the letter uh, should not match, uh, right? So basically, uh, S of I should not be equal to N plus 1 minus I. So 0 should not be equal to the last uh, last uh, letter of the string. Yeah, so this is the question. And you have to print out, uh, you are given a string. And you have to print out the rearrangement of the string that is an anti palindrome that means that means uh, any of the letters do not match right so this is the question and if you can't produce such a, an arrangement then we can just print no okay so these are some test cases so what I thought initially was uh, similar to this editorial that uh, First of all, uh, when when the answer when will the answer be no? Okay, let's get to the solution. Uh, so we first input the numbers of letters and the string. Then we this this editorial has um, this the setter has done this, but we can actually just take a vector and store twenty six alphabets in it and their counts. And basically, we can increase the count whenever we. Uh, uh, reach that letter in the string okay now when can we say no that it is impossible to create an anti palindrome string from the given letters it is when the letters are either uh, so the count of letters is either uh, n by uh, divisible by 2 if it's not divisible by 2 then it's a no and uh, we can see here and another thing is that no letter no letter can be can occur can occur more than n by two times okay this was uh, this is what i was able to come up with and this is also correct uh, you can see why first of all why can't it be even it can't be even because a a a let's say this is the string and uh, this can be a b c this is basically the first test case you can see that if the uh, string is odd length then the single letter at the b would be counted as like uh, the double character so this would always create a palindrome uh, when checked right because from the starting and the la uh, from the uh, last it is going to be the same character so this is the reason why we can't take this so basically i and n minus 1 minus i should will be same in this case and why can't the letter occur more than n by two times actually i thought it, there is only one reason for this and that is because uh, c c c c c let's say this is the letter and this is bb and so let's say this is the string and you can see that the string length is uh, uh, odd so let's make it this so now you can see the string length is 6 and which is even which satisfies the above criteria but it is not uh, a palindrome uh, anti palindrome cannot be made an anti palindrome because uh, no matter how you place these c's they are gonna overlap because uh, because one uh, they are gonna take the two halves basically these two halves should be completely uh, different from each other and basically no no should be uh, no c should come at exactly the mirror position so what this will do is if there is a letter that is occurring more than by two times that means one half will fully be occupied that by that letter and then 
in another half also there will be uh, a letter of the uh, like the same letter right so there will be a, a same letter so it will not follow the criteria and now how do i generate the uh, rearrangement string if these two things are followed i thought these two things are not enough because of the test case of this let's say so here the string is a a a b b b and c c so you can see the string length is 8 and there is no letter that is appearing more than 4 times in by 2 times now um, we can see that uh, i thought that we can't rearrange this a a a b b b and c c uh, into any uh, form why because I was I was stuck on the fact fact that that same letters same letters will occur occur um, uh, adjacent to each other. I was stuck on this fact, right? When we sort the string, when we sort the string, then the adjacent letters occur. Uh, like the same letters occur adjacent to each other and I was stuck at this that I thought that it's always um, better approach to keep AAAs together and then BBBs together and CCC together and and that that is the reason why I thought that this string can never be made a uh, an anti which is completely not true and so because I thought was first I uh, let's say I place AA and then let's say if i place a a a and c c and then b b b even now also there is a mirror element that is same c and c so i was um, stuck on this fact and i was not able to move further in the uh, if you check out my screencast but what i found out after reading the editorial is that if if you reverse the end string then it will always be an anti palindrome and here is why let's say you have uh, any number that it is because no number is repeated greater than n by two times and if it is not then uh, let's say let's say this is the string this is the string uh, sorry this is this is the test case and you can see after we uh, after we reverse the second half of the string this becomes this and now you can see it is actually an anti palindrome and how do we know that it is always the case we can take a counter case let's say if we reverse and it is not an anti palindrome how can that be how can that be right it can only be when let's say so if this is the case uh, this is the case right so a a a b and there is a b b c c here and now we reverse it uh, we find out that if this has to be not be an anti palindrome all of this string should be b b b right shouldn't it be because uh, it has to match this this b has to match this uh, and because these were sorted then b were adjacent and after we reverse it all of the adjacent b's will come from the end right so it, it will start from the end and go up till some point right so to make this an anti palindrome this string should be this right do you all agree and now we can state that this will never be possible because we had already figured out that there are no elements that are greater than n by 2 count so to for this to occur this b should occur more than n by 2 times which is not occurring so this is the solution to the problem there is no like permutation we have to make we just have to reverse the second half of the string i think this was pure genius by the setters or editorialist because it's like uh, no one would uh, like um, 
like people would guess but it was out of my reach i couldn't guess that we could actually reverse this and then sorry reverse this and then we will get an anti palindrome that way yeah so it was a cool question uh, comment down below if you still uh, have any doubts and like if you like this video and yeah just enjoy happy coding and subscribe if you loved it